Hello everyone, and welcome to another video update. And first of all, Happy New Year. A bit belated, it's the 7th of January now, you're well into the New Year now, but Happy New Year. Hope you had a good Christmas period, I hope you had a good festive uh, period, you know, New Year period. The whole, basically, that whole week, or two weeks, leading up to Christmas, Christmas, leading up to New Year, New Year, and then boof back to work, back to school, whatever it might be. Uh, but yeah, i, I got to say that it's, it's, I'm glad it's over. I love the festive period. Food, drink, friends, merriment. It's always the same. I absolutely love it. But at the end of it all, it's, it's just too much. Too much drink passes your lips. Too much food passes your lips. There's no football on over the Christmas period, so I lose fitness. And then by the end of it, it's like, I'm glad to just get back to some semblance of normality. Just eating normal food. Just playing football again. Just, you know, just no more drinking. I've decided to have the entirety of January, no alcohol is going to pass my lips. Because, boy, in December, I drunk far too much. And I'm sure some of you can relate to this. Far too much alcohol past my lips. I'm telling you now, I must have went out about eight or nine times in December on meals with, with football teammates, meals with some other football teammates, meals with ex-colleagues, meals and parties with friends. And when you have a meal, you got to have a drink. And when you have one drink, you got to have two drinks. And, and it just got too much. So January, I've decided I'm back on the health regime now to lose a bit of weight that I put on over Christmas period. Back on insanity, back on football. Back on the healthier eating, no more rich foods, thank the gods. I'm sick of the sight of rich foods. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm completely abstaining from drinking any alcohol for the entirety of January. It's day seven. I struggled a little bit on Sunday because I went to a friend's house and uh, yeah, they were having wine with their, with their Sunday dinner and I couldn't have any, but uh, that was only day two. But uh, day seven, I'm, I'm fine. No, I'm not, not having any shakes or anything like that, so don't worry. But then February the 9th, I'm going up to Newcastle with some friends, some ex-colleagues, for a bit of a farewell gathering. And alcohol will certainly be passing my lips then. So that will be when I'll be breaking my duck. So anyway, Happy New Year. One convoluted introduction's over. So what this is the purpose? What is the purpose of this video update? The purpose of this video update is to tell you about the fact that it is time to make your final decision in regards to what LP you want to see me do next. The Witcher 3 was supposed to finish in January. It's probably going to finish in February due to the amount of stuff that's left. Not a problem. As soon as that finishes, we'll just start this new LP. But I'm starting the voting process now. Last month... You could pick from six games, six games that I, or six, not six games, but six LP choices. And the top three from that list have now made it into the final shortlist. And you have to pick one. Not multiple choice this time, you've got to pick one. Which one game, or which one, yeah, which, which one game do you want to see me LP next? And the three choices, in no particular order, are... Stainless Steel. Uh, Medieval 2. Total War, Stainless Steel mod, uh, CK2, uh, Season 3 of the Fleming Dynasty, and Mountain Blade, Warband with the Game of Thrones mod. They are the three choices. In the description is a link to a poll. Again, you just have to pick which one you want to see next. The choice, or the LP, with the most amount of votes by the time The Witcher 3 comes to its conclusion, that will be what I replace it with. So uh, there you go. Simples, eh? Get voting, and I hope you will enjoy uh, whichever one wins, to be quite honest with you, because I know for sure that I will enjoy whichever one wins. All three of them offer great roleplay potential. All three of them are games that I know I will enjoy playing. Uh, and uh, so I'm looking forward to whichever one wins. So uh, that's pretty much it, really. Hope you're... You know, it's not too much of a culture shock getting back into uh, normal life after after Christmas and New Year. I uh, hope you're coping your first week back at school, your first week back to work. You get back into things quite quickly. And as one final parting shot, in terms of work, for those of you still wondering, I did get a provisional offer at the start of December 
regarding uh, a tax officer job in the HMRC. Uh, and it's still waiting to find out if they're going to make that a formal offer. They still haven't got back to me. I'm still waiting with bated breath. My money is still dwindling away whilst I'm not working. So I'm a bit in limbo here. Do I start looking for another job just in case they turn around and say, we've done your criminal record, criminal background checks and all. And we've just noticed a thing or two about this uh, criminal, ba you know, this, uh, this lynch king pin mob type background you used to lead. Ooh. I thought that was a secret. But anyway, no, in all seriousness, I'm getting a bit worried. But uh, I'll keep you posted. Keep your fingers crossed for me, will you? Because I want to start work in January. I could do with the money. Anyway, uh, I'm rambling now. So I'll see you uh, whenever I see you next. It'll be tomorrow, or it'll be Saturday, rather, with uh, Fallout 4. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed the slightly different Forza update that I provided today. Anyway, until next time, see you soon.